Hi guys, Charity Shop Gold All Garbage, Kingswood today in Bristol. Another Early Learning Centre ELC toy car. Cost me a pound. It's one of those ones, back wheels are driven, front wheel pivots so that in reverse it turns. Do you know what that is? If you've watched my videos before you'll know because I've got two of these already. It's a microphone. If you saw a recent video I had this one which at first glance I thought was a microphone but in fact this one's inter infrared controlled. Both early learning centre, similar size, probably the same internals. But this one you operate by either shouting or clapping. And I've put new batteries in it already. So falling off the table. It seems to be not quite right. I think there's a bit of feedback going on. So the noise of the motor is actually being picked up by the microphone, even though this is all rubber mounted, because it doesn't seem to respond quite right. It should be one clap for forwards and two for back. <laughs> Yeah, it's not quite right. It's working. It would be a fun toy anyway. But what I'm going to do is take it apart and demonstrate using the sound activation or clap switch, because that's basically what it is, to turn on a light. So we'll get inside, get to the internals, uh, rig up a relay working off the wires that would normally go to the motor and use that, as I say, to turn a light on and off. I think I'll only do battery operated lights, although with a relay you could turn on mains powered quite easily. In fact, I've got a video on how I did that on uh, quite a long time ago. I'll put a link in the video description. I've got a bit of background noise I'm afraid, because we've got builders working over the back there somewhere. So, I've taken the cover off the car I've disconnected the wires that go to the electric motor and I've diverted them into this little relay. When that relay operates that will switch on this electric motor that's being powered by these six AA batteries. It actually needs a bit more than that but it's enough to make it spin. So if I clap my hands it will be heard by the sound detector there, microphone, uh, that will switch on the circuitry which would normally drive the motor but instead of that it will operate that relay and that relay will switch on that motor. What I haven't done is implemented any reverse feature so we just got off and on Right, we'll try and um, explain what's going on here now, what I've done. We've got a pair of wires come out of the circuit board, that's normal, go into the motor. Uh, we've got a grey wire and a yellow wire. Now I've got my meter across there at the moment. We're showing 1.7 volts. If I clap my hands that'll go to negative, so it would reverse the motor. Now it's only dropping to 1.3, I think that's because I've also got my relay in circuit. Now one thing you will notice is there's no off position, which seems a bit odd, because the car did stop at times, so I think there's a bit more to that circuitry. There may be a fault on it, or it may just be 
working something to do in conjunction with this white wire that goes to the negative terminal of the battery and is connected to the case of the motor. There may be a bit of circuitry in there that's making use of that. I don't know. All I'm interested in is I want to operate that relay. There's no point in just connecting the yellow and the grey to it because it will be permanently operated. It will either be operated with negative current flow or it will be operated with positive current flow which means it will be permanently operated. That's no good to me. So what I've actually rigged up with my circuit board, what there is of it, I'm afraid I've used green wires for both legs, but one leg is connected to the grey wire, the other leg is actually connected to the negative of the battery. So I will only get current flowing through my relay when there's power coming through this grey wire. So if I connect my motor back up again, one point seven volts is what's coming out to the yellow wire. If I clap my hands, it will be going to the grey wire. So that's dropped to one point three volts. The current is now flowing out of the grey wire through my relay to the negative terminal of the battery direct. I've just reorganized all my wiring so we can use the yellow wire instead of the grey wire coming off the circuit board. So instead of me having a link to the negative battery terminal, I've got a link to the positive battery terminal. So we're still using the same relay, same electric motor, same AA battery pack to drive that motor. And if I clap my hands, we'll now go on the positive instead of the negative. So there we go. You can use that board and a relay to run a much larger motor if you wanted. And if you actually had two relays, one coming off the positive and one coming off the negative, you could actually organize that so you get reverse on there. You'd have to have feeds out of both relays like a toggle switch.